Hey guys, it's Jag here from Jag Aquatics and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have another scape to share with you all. The tank that we are using for this scape is uh, Commodore 1.5 uh, Sky Clear range and the dimensions are 45 cm wide, 27 cm deep and 30 cm high. Um, the, the nice feature of the Sky Clear range is that when the tanks are being manufactured and the and the glass that is used uh, when it is being manufactured they remove the iron oxide content from it which gives a really nice and clean looking uh, glass at the end of the process and uh, it's more whitish glass or what you know uh, the others manufacturers say it's a low iron glass and uh, that's why it's uh, much more cleaner and clearer than the traditional green, uh, greenish looking glass um, also, the Sky Clear range have a very minimum silicon work and nice beveled edges. Um, so nice little tanks from the Commodore brand. And uh, yeah, we will be using this for our skip. Uh, for the hard skip, what we are using is Sevier rocks. Um, so got a really nice uh, looking rocks from Oz Aquarium distributors. Uh, they are one of our suppliers for hardscape and really love the texture on these rocks uh, quality that we got this time is awesome and uh, yeah we will be using a few pieces of this rock to create it so the substrate that we using in this tank is uh, is just a decoration sand from uh, ADA um, now this is not the final tank so this design is a concept design and, um, and the plan is to, uh, to sell it as it is to our customers and, and they can, when they put a final design, they definitely can use any soil uh, for the plants. It can be ADA, uh, can be black earth, can be any other soil that, that there are a lot of brands that are available in the market and one of them can be used. So the plan for this scape is a minimalistic scape that can be put by uh, any aquascaper. Very easy design. Uh, it's, a, it's a slope design, uh, starting at a high point on the right side and uh, you know, moving to the minimum point on the left. And uh, I try to create a depth on the on the left, far left back corner. And also the number of stones used, I think 11 or 12 that we used in this uh, scape. So very simple scape. Okay, you guys can uh, watch the video how I put this scape together in less than 20 minutes. And if you guys have any questions, please drop me a comment and I will reply back. And if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do as that keeps me motivated. And uh, really thanks for all the love that you are showing uh, to all the scaping that I'm doing and to my channel. Uh, thanks guys and I uh, hope you enjoy the video.